All right, I'm playing Casper Piorun. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I feel like we've played once before. Five times. We've played five games. Wow. Gonna play uh, Queen's Gambit Decline style. Like this. A6. To try to take and go for a quick B5. He's playing this in a, in a very lame way. So, actually, I just played like this against Simeon. I just did the exact same thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the bishop on g7 like this. This is kind of just an edgy way to play. Double Fianchetto. Si uh, Simeon just did the exact same thing against me. So, castle, white is not allowed to play knight b5. Uh, and uh, I guess we just play some chess. I'm gonna go for takes in c5. Just like Simeon did against me! Take, take, c5. Maybe knight e4. Maybe I can play this however I want to play it. I don't have to play it like he played it against me. Take, take, c5. Let's just do it, though. I mean, it, it, it strikes me as the correct approach. And then I'll put a queen on c7. I'll put my rooks out. I mean, generally, you don't play like this. Because of certain piece positioning, but... I can take? Let's play queen c7. I mean, he's going to go for d5, and then we're going to see who's... Who's got who's got the bigger understanding of chess? Playing a lot of good players today. It's very annoying. I would like to play one easy opponent, please. A4. Okay, he's trying to get me to not play B5. I have an interesting idea. I can take, play Bishop F3 and Queen C4, but that seems kind of idiotic. Let's take. You know, I have a really interesting move. I can play pawn takes bishop h6, and I make his rook move. I don't know why I would do that, but... And now I'm threatening bishop f3. <laughs> so maybe he has to go here. Which is just kind of weakening, I don't know. And maybe rook c8 with pressure. Oh, wow. He's basically just calling me an idiot. I can get the queen to h2 and then leave. And then my rook is hanging. I can wrap around this way. Okay, I'm just going to admit that that was stupid. <laughs> See, I have this bad habit against these players. I make these lazy moves and they're like, okay, prove it. And I'm like, oh, I can't prove it. And then they're like, well, you suck. And I'm like, I know, but you don't have to be so mean about it. This move still deflects the rook away. Although I'm not sure if the rook is better on b1 or c1. And I don't have a lot of time to figure it out. So that was really dumb. I mean, I, I feel like at least I should have went to f5. But I just forgot that my opponent can go here. I thought I was threatening bishop f3. Takes. I don't want to allow his pawn to be there. I just want to play knight c5 sort of absent-mindedly. It's very hard to... Yeah, I'm just going to put the rook on the C file. Because, I, I mean, I don't really know if the pawn on D6 is good or bad. So, I'm just going to put my queen on C5 and we're going to find out. These pawns could be weak. They could be not weak. Bishop on A3 doesn't really scare me. I don't... I mean, rook E8. Like, what is the... Now I have a target. Yeah, but can't I, like, fly in? Bishop h6 is also possible, but I, I... Queen b8 or queen f4? I mean, I'm gonna go active. I don't know. I don't, I don't know another type of chess. Now g3 I don't think is particularly good. I feel like g3 is a mistake. I can start attacking his king. And then his position feels very soft. I have to have something here, man. I mean, I just have to. Can't burn all my time though. Just gonna play a move. Just I don't know. I, I I just I really don't know. I'm trying. I'm looking for something, but I don't see it. Like I 
certain there was something, but I, I just couldn't find it. Queen b4. This looks baby smart. Oh, there's knight d2. Queen a5, queen c5. Okay. Don't burn all your time. I gotta make a move, man. Just gotta go. Gotta take because my knight needs protection. Do I have knight f2? It's protected. Damn it. Back up. Uh oh. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. He hung a knight. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, that was crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was so clutched by me. God damn, that was nice. Yeah, I was defending very well. I mean, the position was definitely equal for a bit, but... Oh! Woo! Yeah, I played all the normal ideas. Okay, Night G4 was like really stupid. But even then, the position was fine. Yeah, I should have played bishop h6 here, apparently. Lose my rook. His pawns are just bad. Yeah, h5 was probably silly, but... Okay, rook d4 was a nice move. I almost hung my queen here. That would have been really crazy. Luckily... Luckily, uh, you know... I didn't do that. I was really scared of playing this because I just thought he goes rook d2 and I can't move. And I'm right. I, I really thought I, you know, I, I calculated here knight d5, knight d5, bishop d4, which is winning. But I thought he could just back up with the rook and then I'm kind of cooked. Here I was confident I was better. Uh, I guess I could have played knight d5 here, but I'm trash and I got nervous. So I went here instead. It's just a free pawn in the center. Right here, I, I, I completely panicked. Uh, I missed this. I mean, it was just equal. Here, I thought he can play queen h6 and mate me, but I have knight f5. So I just decided to create a pass pawn. And then, yeah, he just he just hung a knight. 
I mean, he completely hung a knight. So. Oh my god. Very nerve wracking. Anyway, I have three out of four. That was my second win lifetime versus Casper. Um, I've never... The last time I beat him... Yo! Oh my god. That was the first time I beat this guy? In seven years. Do you guys see this? That win, these games were played in 2017. <laughs> Last time I played Casper was October 7th, 2017. I haven't played this guy in seven years. Crazy. I guess I haven't won or lost to him in seven years.